Hey guys, it's Ben here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to unlock Bard Performance Mode and how to play MIDI files from it on Final Fantasy XIV. Because there are a few parts to this video, I'm going to put timestamps down below in the comments so that you don't have to watch through the parts that you already know. To start, you're going to have to meet two requirements, the first being a level 30 Bard, and the second completing the level 30 Bard quest, A Song of Bards and Bowmen. So you're going to want to start in Gridania, and once you're there, take the Aetherite to Miketo's Amphitheater. After that, head left or east, and you'll run into a guy named Simkin. You will have the Bard performance quest that you need to do. It's pretty simple, only takes a few seconds if you want to read through it. And after you're done with that, you should have unlocked your Bard performance tab. To get to the performance actions, click on character and then go all the way up to actions, or by default you can hit P, and then go to the left and select performance. Once there, simply right click on any of the instruments and you'll be ready to play. Next up, we're going to take a look at how to play MIDI files in Final Fantasy XIV. It's not too difficult, doesn't take much time, and I left all of the links that you'll need down in the description below. Go ahead and click the top link in the description. This should take you to the download website. Go to the left and download the most recent version of the program. After that, go ahead and use whatever unzipping program you want and extract it to a folder. Make sure you do remember which folder that is because you will be needing it later. Now that you have downloaded the program, you need to make a folder named songs in the same location as the .exe. This is where you will be putting the MIDI files that you want to play. The last thing that you need to do to be ready is to change the key binds in your in-game settings. Go to the bottom right and click on the gear, then go to the keyboard's control tab. Once you're there, make sure you tick the box that says assign all notes to keyboard. After that, fill in all the key binds like they are here on my screen. I'll give you a second, but pause if you need to. You're almost ready to start serenading all those people in Limsa. Now all you need is to find some MIDI files. Finding working MIDI files isn't all that hard. There are a number of places where you can find some. To start, there is the MIDI repository from the creators of the program. Along with that, I have linked a Google Drive folder filled with all kinds of songs. And if you really can't find something you like in all of those, you could get a trial subscription to a website called MuseScore to download some of the MIDI files that are there. After you put the MIDI files in the song folder, you're pretty much set. Just run the program as an administrator and pick a song. I hope you enjoy playing for the people of Eorzea. I ended up playing for people for 3 hours straight at one point. If you do enjoy the program, the creators have a donation link on their main webpage. And if you found this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you would give it a like or maybe even subscribe to the channel. I also stream most days at 9pm Eastern on my Twitch channel at the link down below. So if you have any questions or just want to hang out, you can join me there. I hope this video helped you, and I'll see you in the next one.